Hey guys, let's slice the brisket. This is a whole packer cut brisket, of course, flat muscle on top, point muscle out in the front. It started out at about 17, 18 pounds, but they shrink a lot during cooking, of course. Just get in there, separate those two muscles. Very easy, just let your knife glide through that fat vein that separates those two muscles. Take a look at the flat muscle here first. My preference is to just get rid of any excess fat that remains in there. Not all of it, just big chunks, right? I don't want one of my customers slicing into that. Not all that appetizing, but we'll leave a little bit on there just to make sure things stay moist. When I'm removing that fat, I'm exposing that grain of the meat. So that grain is running in this direction. We're going to make sure we're carving in the exact opposite direction of that grain, perpendicular to the grain. A nice sharp knife. Okay. Got a pan handy here for my slices. So these are slices for our food truck. You know, on our buns, five inches wide. I want to make sure my slices match. Feel free to do it how you wish. And I, I prefer a push slice myself. A lot of people prefer a pull slice, but I usually end up with a lot of brisket on the floor when I do that. So a nice clean push slice, that does the trick for me. And honestly, I, usually I don't split it in half before I slice it. I don't know why I did that for the video today. But just keep going. We're gonna make sure we keep all our slices nice and close together. I don't want those slices to dry out while that meat's still on the cutting board. Move that flat muscle to our serving pan. Turn our attention to the point muscle. It's the same thing here. In order that big knuckle of fat, that shoulder of fat on the edge of the brisket, I'll just trim that off. There's still enough surface fat here to keep my slices nice and moist. Same thing, very obviously obvious to see now that the grain is running in this direction. Make sure our slices run per perpendicular to that. Okay, for visual purposes, I'm gonna slice it with the bark facing up. It just looks a lot better on the platter once we present this to our guests and move right through. Really helps to have a nice sharp knife and a nice, it helps to have a nice long knife too. This is the Rude Eddie Threw Mo Quezon brisket slicer. 14 inches makes this job really easy. The rest of the point muscle here, we'll just slice it up quickly. Keep those slices together as long as possible and into the platter, okay. We're ready to serve this brisket. Let's take a closer look. So that's how we slice a brisket. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and look for that little bell. When you click that bell, it'll notify you when new content is posted. We have lots of big plans for this channel. Thanks for sticking around, guys.